Alrighty, let's get started with your test review unit 7. For those of you who may or may not have been able to get a chance to watch this or see this or have worked on this or whatever with the test review. Right, anyways, let's look here. Let's start off with... What are we starting off with? Alright. So here are the first set of questions. All you're going to basically be telling me is, is it less than or greater than? That's it. How do you know? Well, if you look at the first one, this is 32 degrees, this is 58 degrees, and they want to know what is MN versus QP. Okay, well, since 32 degrees corresponds to the, well, I was going to say, since the 32 degrees, that didn't work out the way I wanted to, corresponds to the MN, the 58 corresponds to the QP, and 32 is less than 58, then MN is less than QP. Same thing here. Angle 1 is greater than angle 2. Why? Because angle 1 corresponds to the 43, and angle 2 corresponds to the 38. Simple, simple, right? So on this one, the main thing I would make sure is I know what is angle PST. PST is this angle right here, because you know you're going from the P to the S to the D. And then you got an SPR, which is this angle right here, because you're going from the S to the P to the R. Now that is going to be that is going to the PST corresponds to the 12, the SPR corresponds to the 10, 12 is bigger than the 10, so PST is greater. And then on the next one, the only thing that would make this hard is you got to remember that this right here is, this these two angles together would add up to 180, so if I subtract 180 from by 82, I get that this angle next to the 82 is 98. And since the 98 is larger than the 82, then the EF, which corresponds to the 82, has to be less than the FG because again the angles how they correspond to the sides that are opposite them and that's really all it is for that fairly simple okay now on the next one you might want to make sure you this is for a range of values if it's a side the uh, way I'm going to set it up is the equation is always going to be greater than zero or less than the other side if it's angles then you've got to decide is it the smaller one or the larger one if it's smaller, then it's the greater than zero, but less than the other angle. If it's the larger one, it's greater than the other angle, less than 180. For sure, you will have a version of this one here on the test. I don't know, you know, and again, we'll see what you have else. Okay, so like on this one, this one is talking about angles. Now you can see here that this one is smaller because the 18, which corresponds to the angle 5K minus 12, is smaller than the 19. So because it's smaller, I'm going to say less, greater than 0, but less than 38. So, and then from there, it's just a simple, you know, add or subtract, and then divide. In this case, the opposite of minus is a plus, so I'm going to add to both equations, and then I'm going to divide by 5 and get my answer. Not that hard. Those are the steps. Fairly easy. And then again, put your answer preferably where you have the variable between the two answers. Okay, this one is a side. Now notice on sides, I'm just going to keep it simple. It's going to be greater than 0 and less than the other side, which in this case is 45. And you go through the same steps. You're going to add, then subtract. Or, I'm sorry, in this case, subtract, then divide. I don't know why I said add, then subtract. Oh, let's see here. Hmm. All right. For those of you that may have not put in, say, the last time I gave a bonus word, I'll give you another bonus word for this one. Uh, actually, let's do a, a song. So you've got to put in my, like, you got to write on your note card my favorite uh, Christmas melody, which is Little Drummer Boy. So you got to write Little Drummer Boy for uh, some bonus points, but you got to put it on your note card. So make a note card. All right, next example. We want to do the same thing. Again, this one is dealing with sides, again, because, again, you can see here, we got numbers for the angles, so we've got sides, and, again, it's going to be greater than zero and less than the other side, which in this case is 18. You're going to subtract, go from there, and you should be done. Uh, I'm just letting this play, because the steps are pretty much the same. It's just a matter of recognizing. If you can recognize, it's easy, which means go back to the formula. So... Again, don't forget what formulas you're using. I'll, I'll write it in here one more time. Don't forget you're using those. You could use those formulas, this template. If you need to pause so you can copy this down because you didn't during class, then go for it. 
The next one is talk, the next section is going to be talking about the Pythagorean theorem. That's the a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But let's shorten that up a bit. If I give you a and b, in other words, uh, I give you if, if the number across the x or across the right angle, if it's an x, then you're going to add them up. If they if I give you a number, you're going to subtract. And then after that, you just take the square root. But again, don't forget you got to square them, then add, or square them, then subtract. Okay. So, for example, here, you can see on number 8, that's, the net, that's your C, the X, the, the thing opposite the 90 degrees is X, so that means I'm going to add those two together, but if you look at number 9, opposite 90 degrees is a number, so that means I'm going to subtract. So here, I would add them together, 12 squared plus 32 squared, then take the square root. You might get a decimal answer, you'll live. Here, I... Take the, I subtract the two answers, then take the square root, and I get 5. That one didn't come up with the square root. Same thing here. Notice again, I'm drawing across and make sure I know which one is my C or what is the angle, what is across the 90 degree angle. If it's a number, you're going to subtract. If it's an X, you're going to add them. Plain and simple. And then the same steps. Do the squaring, add or subtract, and then take the square root. Okay, on the last one, you want to do this, you want to make sure that you say a squared plus b squared, you know, use this on your note card. Again, is it equal to? That's a right. Is it greater? That's acute. Is it less? That's obtuse. Pretty simple, right? Ooh, this might be an easy little set of saying notes. All right, so on here now, the final part, uh, then again, on what I'm doing is going to, I'm going to say 7 squared plus 13 squared uh, is what to 8 squared. You compare the two answers, and then since that one's less, it's obtuse. Here, the next one, it's going to be greater, so then that one would be acute. On the next one, it's going to be equal to, so that makes them a right triangle. And for the last one, it's going to be, I believe, greater. That sounds about right. And so that one is going to be acute. Okay? Um, that's it for this one, uh, and that should be it for the test. Uh, hopefully, y'all will be well prepared, and y'all will do well on this. Again, do y'all have any questions? You know, hopefully, you can ask during the test. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for your time. Y'all take care.